and thank you. Welcome back to TechIt, and thank you for joining me. Uh, I kind of forgot to refill those uh, engines with coal, so that speed through you saw was actually really lame. Sorry. <laughs> um, in other news, <laughs> we're going to be doing some other stuff today. Uh, first, I'm going to try to find some coal around here and refill those engines. And then second, we will be working uh, further towards making an energy converter or energy gatherer thing, whatever it's called. And uh, that'll be really cool. And then we'll have basically an unlimited supply of coal for all future mining expeditions. And we'll be able to start making Nova Catalysts for mining in the nether. So it's going to be awesome. <clears throat> so uh, first is first. These things have no coal in them at all. And we want them to have coal in them. So we have to do some stuff. Uh, we have to find coal. Let's see if any of our chests have coal. Where's my underground hideout? Where did I put it? Um, here it is. It's like, I knew I had one. <laughs> Alright, we have two coal, which is extremely impressive, I understand. Uh, so I think what I'm going to have to do is bite the bullet, mine a little bit more, um, diamond, uh, somehow, and then from there, make a diamond pickaxe, actually mine obsidian, and then, um, I think from there, then we'll just make another portal. And uh, real quick, let's do it. Oop, that's not where I wanted to go. Um, real quick, let's do a little... Uh, I This is on... Wait a second. I don't want cheat mode. I want recipe mode. There we go. Um, energy collector. This thing here. This is the formula for it. So we need a diamond block. And we need glass. And we need a furnace, and we need glowstone, and we need an obsidian uh, in order to make... What do we need obsidian for again? What are we doing with the philosopher's stone? Let's see. Um, gosh, I can't remember. Um, this is the Nova Catalyst that we'll be making. Um, didn't need it for that, obviously. Uh, let's see. There was some reason why I wanted to have obsidian and go to the nether, and it involved glowstone... Oh, we already have glowstone. We are we already went to the nether. Oh my god, what am I... <laughs> I'm really out of it. I haven't played this in quite a while. Alright, so we need... We got glowstone, which we needed for the energy collector. Now... I don't remember where I put my nether portal. I don't even remember building another portal, but I remember being in the nether. So, I mean, I must have built one. Um... But that, oh yeah, 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 that's right, I built it down there with the lava buckets, how could I forget? Stupid me! Alright, so, we did make it to the nether, we needed obsidian, I think, for, um, I forgot what now, but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out eventually, maybe for, like, one of those or something. But basically, at this point, we just need to get more diamond, uh, so that we can build our energy collector, and then, uh, from there, the second level of the energy collector... Uh, involves black matter, or dark matter, sorry, and so we'll be looking into, um, just a second. Dark matter, we'll be looking into making this, which requires alternative fuel and another diamond block, and so that'll be <coughs> using, um, using, uh, alternative fuel from our energy collector. So, and I've uh, made my decision as to what I'm going to do about the, uh, how energy collectors ruin the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit myself to three energy collectors. I can upgrade them as high as I want, uh, but limit max limit is three running at one time, and um, I can use anything I want with those with the EMC value. And I also they can only run when I'm logged in and actually playing, so I can't like you know leave this running overnight or anything like that. That doesn't work. It's no fair. Um, so with that brings up the point of mining, and since mining is just so extremely exciting. Uh, I'm going to actually um, not go mining in this episode. I'm going to save that till next episode when I have more time. However, in this episode, I'm going to go around and hunt. I'm kind of running low on food, so I'm going to go and I'm going to hunt around for food. And I'm going to try to kill stuff and get more XP and kind of just, in general, going to try to kill an Enderman or two so we can have Ender Pearls for whatever we need those for. And so yeah, it's going to be more of a hunting game today. Die, Enderman. Die. Do, or teleport away like nobody's business. Hi. I'm watching you. Ow. What the? Oh, hi. Wait, can I get him to shoot the Enderman? 
Aha, you shot the Enderman. What now? What you gonna do about it? Oh, spider. Oh, Enderman. Oh, spider. Oh, oh Enderman. Ow. <laughs> ha, an Ender Pearl. And you, Mr. Skeleton, have no business in my little abode over here. Ouch. There you go. And I'll eat some chicken. Regain my hunger and whatever. Ooh, arrow. Don't need that. And then we can, probably later I'm going to be cursing myself for throwing that piece of glass out because then I'll have to go find more sand. Because um, otherwise I could use the glass for like, um... Oh, I remember what it was. I wanted a transmutation table. That's what it was. That's why I needed the, um... That's why I wanted obsidian. That's why I needed the diamond pickaxe. It was a transmutation table. Alright, that's correct. Um, so, the transmutation table. And uh, that'll become very useful very quickly. But, uh... Again, we need to do mining for that, and I'm going to do, today it's a school night, so I'm just trying to get an episode recorded and up and interesting, um, and then over the weekend when I have hours and hours to spend on mining, uh, that's when I'll do the mining, and then I can just fast forward through it all, uh, like I did last time I did, ouch, like, like last time when I did mining, and then eventually we're going to turn this Tegut series into a uh, traveling towards the edge lands, the 30 million blocks, and uh, the idea is not to reach it, it is simply instead to just walk really far and cover a lot of distance and just in general have fun. We're going to be going mainly in one direction, but then at certain points we'll just like kind of randomly turn and go perpendicular to where we were going and I need to clear my inventory if I intend to pick any of this up. Probably should have thought of earlier, but whatever. Not my problem. And uh, actually it quite is my problem, but anyhow, that's the direction, haha <laughs> direction, where we're going to be taking this in. So it's going to be, once we get our foundation, we're just going to be walking and having a lot of fun and just exploring the wonderful world of Tekkit. So look forward to that. Uh, this series is going to be a long continued series, and uh, it, it's going to last quite a while. It's probably going to be my main series for quite a long time. And it's probably going to be also the only Minecraft content on a regular basis that is ever uploaded to our YouTube channel. Uh, we've, as um, a team, we've kind of gotten bored of doing multiplayer Minecraft things, so we're not going to be uploading much multiplayer Minecraft stuff at all. So this is basically probably the only Minecraft we're going to have on this channel on a regular basis. Uh, the rest of it will be uh, between other games, uh, Borderlands 2, uh, James's um, series, which are his uh, Project Zomboid, and his... It's not European Universalis 3, it's... Uh, Uh, what's it called? I get all those games confused. They're all tactical games, and they're like, you know, all owning countries and stuff, and I, I get them so confused. It's like, I don't even know what it's called anymore, but eventually I'll I'll find that out and I'll report back. Um, but yeah, so he'll be doing those series, I'll be doing Tech It, and I'm going to need another series, and so I'm going to be taking on Arma 2, which is a really cool game. Uh, James bought it for me on Steam, and it's basically a uh, zombie survival game. But with some other new interesting aspects pulled in. It's not just a game of, you know, go out and just, like, randomly spray zombies with, well, not randomly, directionally spray zombies with a bunch of bullets from a machine gun. It's a lot more um, tactical and st strategic and thinking of, you know, kind of uh, putting yourself into that character and seeing, you know, what would I do or uh, what's a good uh, solution for this time period. And it's it's pretty open-ended. Uh, we're going to be playing with the, I forgot what, what, the mod's called, but we're going to be playing with that mod. Uh, it's the most popular mod for it, and I can't believe I can't remember the name right now. But, um, oh, Daisy, that's what it's called, the Daisy mod. So we're going to be playing with that, and we're going to be uh, kind of experimenting with trying to uh, beat the average time for survival of an hour and eight minutes by four times. So we're going to try to survive four hours and 32 minutes, or basically four and a half hours, um, without dying in the zombie apocalypse, which is probably easier said than done. <laughs> so that, that'll that be uh, my two series for the next while. We're going to be moving towards more of a uh, single player commentary style, and then we're going to do more uh, multiplayer stuff just as we kind of team up um, on rarer occasions. So it's mainly going to be focused around single player commentary, single player series with uh, kind of the grand finale type things being uh, multiplayer, whether that's... Um, you know, if something really instrumental is happening in one of our games, we might have the other one join over audio, or uh, just randomly we'll do uh, multiplayer events of games and stuff like that as well. Uh, a Borderlands series is still going to keep going as a multiplayer thing, so that's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to have we're going to have a good time here. 
And, um, there was one more change. I forgot what it was. But, um... Hmm, can't remember it right now. God help this aside. But basically, we, um... We're, we're changing the YouTube channel into a different direction. We're changing it into the direction of, um... Uh, less of multiplayer, more of single player, uh, less of um, kind of scatterbrained, and we're actually going to keep with our series now. Um, at least I'm going to try. Uh, James seems to have that down so far. And uh, so that, that's going to be the general trend that we're way. I've been wandering really far. That's probably not good. I should probably start going back. I'm going to go back a slightly different way around and find my base. That way I can uh, explore some another direction. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that ruby over there. Hmm. I don't think I need any marble right now. Hmm. Ruby's not too valuable. See some iron, I think? Or maybe that's copper. There is some coal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to spend my time going down there. Although, maybe in some future episode. That mountain looks pretty cool. I can't tell whether that's a lighting glitch or, like, the mountain's hollow, but I'm going to go investigate. Investigate. Find out what's going on. And, yeah. As well in my own personal life, I've been, uh... Um, oh, it's oil. All right, that all makes sense now. It's, it's black gold. Black gold running down the mountain. Although it looks like it is also hollow to some extent here. Let's explore... Explore, explore, explore. Why not go into the cave? I mean, it's not doing any harm until I die. <laughs> zombie. Oh, other zombie. Hi, 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 hi. No, die, die, die. Ah, they're everywhere. Ah, there must be a spawn around here or something. Something. It's driving me nuts. All right. Well, that that was that was really cool. There's some iron. I don't think we're on much of a shortage for iron. I don't really remember, but I'm gonna grab it anyway because it's that natural Minecrafters. Oh my God, iron kind of thing. It's like you know, no matter how how many times you see iron or how much iron you have, unless you have like just an obscene amount and you're on creative. <laughs> Both of those have to be true. Then it's like, oh my God, iron! I need it! I need it! I need it! Even if you only have like four thousand iron, you know. <laughs> It's still this kind of, uh, this odd kind of inclination towards it, no matter how much you have, unless you're, like, so rich, or, or you're on a multiplayer server that has an economy and you have so much money you could buy, like, unlimited quantities of it, but uh, otherwise it just has this really odd attraction that, that coal doesn't carry, that, uh, a lot of the other elements don't carry, it seems to be something pretty unique to, uh, in regular Minecraft to iron and to, uh, diamond and then tech it to things like uranium, to some extent, um, uh, what's it called, that, 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 uh, blue powder, um, oh, well, whatever, whatever that's called, that stuff, um, just because of its EMC value is pretty high, but, uh, in, in general, it's, um, kind of reserved for only a couple specific elements, and I do have torches, which I should be using, grr, um, I was gonna mine out, mine out this iron and this, this coal, whatever you want to call it. Coal, iron, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. But, um, yeah, I'm going to mine all this out and have some more coal to go back with. And probably going to wrap up this episode once I, oops, yay, <laughs> once I uh, explore a little bit more in this cave and see what's going on. Ooh, iron. I should make up a song for iron. That would be awesome. The iron song. I am a dwarf and I'm mining. No. No. <laughs> I won't go there. But, um, it is an idea. Uh, and let's just run for the hills. Oh, wait, coal. I like coal. Ooh, iron over there. Awesome. <laughs> We're rolling in the dough here. Um, for anyone who doesn't know that slang, dough is like money. It's kind of a stupid way to refer to money, but people use it, so whatever. Rolling in the dough. Sounds good in that context. Um, more iron over here. I thought this was going to be a whole other cave, but it's not. It's not. Tis not. Tis not. Well, I got tons of iron now. Don't think I'll be needing more iron soon, but I'll still be collecting it. And might as well... Nah, you think I got enough coal. 
I actually probably don't, but whatever. I'm going to have fun with my little philosopher's stone out here. Loop, loop, and loop. And boop. Whoa! Oh, oh! Oh, right, that was stupid, I'll admit it. That was really stupid. But it was cool. That's all that matters. Not stone, it turns it to cobblestone. Uh, turns sand to uh, dirt and dirt to sand. Turns, uh, I think it turns grass to sand too, but I could be wrong, let's test that out. I think it's grass to sand. Yeah, grass to sand. It's just an all-around fun tool. I, I don't really get the exact purpose of the Philosopher's Stone. It does a lot of different things, like convert, like up-converting fuels. Um, but all in all, I mean, sand is just an amazing, amazing thing. Oh, oh! All right, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> oh goodness. But anyway, thank you for joining me for this episode of Tekkit, and. We're at 16 minutes, so I think I will see you next time. Join us for more splunking and whatever we do when we're doing stuff.